Welcome back to American Agenda. I'm Heather Childers. Bob Sellers is off today. A disgraced actor, Bill Cosby, is now a free man. The Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned his indecent assault conviction and released him from prison. The judge arguing that Cosby had a non-prosecution agreement in a prior civil case preventing him from protection of self-incrimination under the First Amendment. Joining us now to discuss is the co-founder of Inside Outside and prison consultant Craig Rothfeld. So Craig, take us through that legal speak and uh, tell us in, in other terms exactly what does that mean and why is he walking free? Good afternoon, Heather. Thanks for having me back on. So in legal speak, as it specifically pertains to Mr. Cosby, this decision was overturned and thrown out because the law was broken. There was a non-prosecution agreement that was given to him, and that agreement ultimately wasn't honored. And as a result of that, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court upheld the law and threw out the conviction. And the court of public opinion aside, Heather, this is something I've been saying to everybody for the last 24 hours, is that he wasn't convicted in a fair trial. If, it, if evidence gets admitted into a trial, if a trial is not supposed to occur because of a specific reason, well, then it's impossible to say he was convicted at a fair trial. It just doesn't make any sense. So what other avenues do victims have in his particular case moving forward now? Are, are there any avenues? I can't comment with absolute specificity as it pertains to Mr. Cosby. The state, you know, the Supreme Court in the courts in Pennsylvania made it clear he's not going to be retried. I'm aware just from the news that there are civil matters pending. Uh, but the remedies that victims do or don't have uh, will be left to other uh, attorneys out there to determine. But at the moment, it appears there's no path forward to retry Mr. Cosby on any criminal grounds. All right. So you were previously on Harvey Weinstein's legal team, I believe, and some are questioning if the disgraced movie mogul Weinstein will try the same legal tactic or does he ha even have this possibility? It's a great question, and I'm still a part of his team. I'm okay. his authorized Department of Corrections uh, and New York State Department of Health representative. Uh, and uh, although not an attorney and a criminologist, I'm part of the legal defense team. So Mr. Weinstein's appeal that is pending contains many of the identical issues that were brought forth in Mr. Cosby's appeal. However, the specific reason that they overturned Bill Cosby's conviction was based on a non-prosecution agreement. In Mr. Weinstein's case, there are many other issues that were also in Mr. Cosby's appeal. And while the courts didn't rule specifically on them, they did comment about being troubled by one very specific issue that pertains to Mr. Weinstein. And that is allowing evidence into trials that skews a jury making a decision. I mean, there's well-established federal law. It's called Rule 404B. In parlance, it's the bad acts, prior bad acts. And it is illegal, regardless of what the court of public opinion is, to allow illegal bad, uh, bad, prior bad acts into a trial and have someone convicted on it. So Arthur Idala and his legal team uh, are confident they'll prevail in Harvey's conviction being reversed because it's what the law dictates. Um, however, it is not because there was a non-prosecution agreement, but because there are several other factors and constitutional rights that were violated in the course of Mr. Weinstein's trial. You know, Craig, we're, we're in a different day and age now when it comes to, you know, these high profile cases happening and it, whether it be the Twitter mob or other social media avenues, people getting their voice out. Um, do you see this as a problem and how do we solve it moving forward with other high profile cases and judges falling to the whims of public opinion? It's a good question. And I have two daughters myself and it's a dicey answer. I think what we have to remember is that we live in the greatest country in the world that has rules of law that no matter what any individual may or may not have done, have to be adhered to. I, Heather, I talked with a family member yesterday and I made this analogy. We all have empathy and compassion 
when we hear, you know, at least once a month, someone who spent 20, 25, 30 years in jail who was wrongfully convicted, whether it was a prosecutor doing something dirty or a cop doing something dirty or hiding evidence. And we all want that person out. We all have empathy. Yeah. Well, you can't have a double standard here. If you feel that way for that person, then regardless of how anyone might feel about Mr. Weinstein or Mr. Cosby or anyone else, you can't have a double standard. If the law wasn't applied properly, if people did things that were against the law in a trial, then the trial can't stand. All right. Well, Craig Rothfeld, thank you, as always, once again for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Heather. Have a great day and a good holiday weekend. You too. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.